All right, let's go into the next one. We've got Nasrat Hakparas versus Bobby Green. Bobby Green coming off a win over Al Iaquinta. I think that was a first round knockout in Al Iaquinta's return to MMA. Prior to that, a very close fight with Rafael Fiziev. I think it was closer than uh, a lot of people remember. He outlanded Rafael Fiziev in the last round. And I think he actually won that final round. And in the second round as well, uh, it was also a pretty competitive round, in my opinion. Tiago Moises, he lost to him, uh, top, borderline top 15 guy. Was a ranked opponent when he had his fight announced with Islam Makashev. Uh, he's got a win over Alan Patrick and Lando Bernardo as well. Pretty good wins there on the record, but... He's fighting Nasrat Hakparas, the guy that I respect a lot for taking on Dan Hooker on short notice. Both of them made their weight cut very quickly and uh, put on a pretty good fight in my opinion. Dan Hooker did beat Nasrat Hakparas kind of in all areas of the game. He backed him up, which isn't really something that people do to Nasrat Hakparas. With that being said, I think Bobby Crean is going to be able to back up Nasrat even though he was getting backed up himself by Rafael Fiziev. Nasrat Hakparas, my problem with him is his wins have not aged well at all. Rafa Garcia went on a losing streak after losing to Nasrat. Alex Munoz, I think, also went on a losing streak after losing to Nasrat. He lost to Drew Dober by knockout. Not really the greatest look in the world as an up-and-coming prospect in the lightweight division. But Drew Dober is borderline top 15. I think he was actually ranked at one point as well. And he knocked out Joaquin Silver a couple of years ago. Very young guy in Nasrat Hakparas. I think they're doing him a little bit of a favor by letting him fight Bobby Green on the main card of a pay-per-view for the favor that he did them and Dan Hooker in his last fight. I mean, that was a great opportunity for Nasrat, man. He could have. He, he was fighting a top 10. I think Dan Hooker was like ranked 6th or 7th at the time. Great opportunity for Nasrat. And unfortunately, did not quite um, come into fruition for him there. But... If we move on, man, Bobby King at Green, I do think he's going to outstrike Nasrat with the volume. I think Nasrat's got the power, man. He did beat Rafa Garcia by decision. He beat Alex Munoz by decision, but he did knock out Joaquim Quim Silva, which is a pretty good look, let's be honest. Nasrat Hakparas is the kind of guy that wouldn't mind having a little bit of a brawl on the feet. Bobby King Green, I think at this point he also is ready keen for a little bit of a brawl. This is definitely um, going to be a very exciting fight to open up the main card. I think that they've done well to make this choice here. I do see Bobby King Green winning the fight by a decision. I don't think he's going to knock out Huck Parast, but maybe he could. I think we're just going to see Green put on more volume, do more work on the feet. And I think he's just going to piece up Nasrat for the uh, better of three rounds. I think he's just going to outpoint him on the feet uh, until the end of the fight. 